What is up guys, this is your Sea Dog, and you're watching Miller Time Motorsports where dirt meets rubber. And you can tell by the title of the video, probably, I think, I don't know. I haven't made it yet, but uh, I'd say it's gonna be saying something about the new race car seat um, sitting over here. I'll show yeah, that to we'll you. We'll get more quick. into it later, but that dude, full containment, Kirky, uh, whatever the part number is, um, is going in here, getting rid of this old Whatever the hell that thing is, I think it's Kirky Dew, but um, it's a 15 inch and it's super tight on me. So we're upgrading this, the 16 inch and full containment. It's got all the top stuff for your head and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this puppy air up the tires and uh, um, get her started. And we're gonna move her out a little bit to the welding station right there. And it feels really good today. So We'll get a lot done. So uh, stay tuned. I think I'm gonna get a wrist twister out here to help me today. Maybe we can get some more filming done. And uh, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna put that seat in there. I'll tell you what I think about it and we'll go over everything on the, on the new seat. All right guys, it was a pain in the butt, but finally got this thing out of here. We get, it, it starts fine. Oh, okay, so this is what happens. You go in it, you get in it and start it. It starts and it takes a long time to get warmed up. You gotta keep feeding it throttle and whatnot. And before it gets warmed up, you know, it dies a couple times trying trying to get it to idle. And after it dies a couple times, it freaking doesn't want to start again. It's like, it, and it keeps, the timing's a little off. Uh, the, the carburetor needs tuned on a little bit. I don't know anything about messing with, um, uh, like, you know, just tuning these carbs. Uh, that's something I need to figure more about. And I just need to set the time in a little better. I need to get a time light out and figure it out because it's it's backfiring out of the exhaust it's been doing that since day one because he's uh guy bought off was talking about it and um i knew that now it's starting to backfire out of the carb and whatnot and it just does not like to start up again uh once you killed a couple times so that's something i just need to deal with here and there and that stupid starter oh my gosh i was getting worried about it. it's really starting to it, it, it sounds terrible. I'm sure you guys know anytime I ever start this thing up. I was crawling under it. I was worried it's going to start eating the teeth on the flywheel, but it's it's all fine down there. It's The start is a little war from starting like that, but it's nothing to worry about at all. We just got to shim it up a little bit and whatnot. And but other than that, she's moved out. And um, I guess I'll probably work a little bit here and there, but I'll try to keep this video um, focused on this bad boy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the seat out of that car and then we'll go into detail about this one we'll get it back together and whatnot for and um for everyone that's been commenting about the flywheel guess what we got another spacer to throw on there and we got a bunch of um little worsters we can throw on there so uh, that will be taken care of don't everyone worry i'll figure it out um some people they're arguing actually tell me in the comments where you run your fan in the fan shroud because there's a couple people saying different things one person said halfway in, another person said one inch from it, from the actual radiator, another person said two inches. So uh, what does everyone run? Where do they run their fan shroud? I know this is not much of a fan shroud, but what do you guys normally do? I'd like to see what everyone else thinks. All right, guys, something a little different here. I'm gonna sit here and we're gonna talk about this seat a little bit. Um, yeah, don't, don't mind my nose here. Uh, I'm wearing a stupid mask at work all day. It's literally my nose live, so uh, see a little redness right there. That's what it is. But anyway, let's get into what this thing is. Um, so I bought it at Speedway. It is a Kirky. Like I said, I don't remember the part number. I'll put it right here again. There's the part number. Um, it's off of Speedway Motors. It's This is pretty much the most budget full containment seat that I've found so far. It's um, a Kirky seat. It's a 16 inch and it's gonna run you on, I believe it ends up being $509 on um, Speedway Motors. So if you just go to the website and buy it, it shipped free, so it came here and it only took like uh, like three or four days to get here. So it was pretty quick shipping. I went ahead and ordered um, a couple of their recommended brackets, the side mounting brackets here. These were these were kind of, these were kind of spicy here. They're uh, like 40 bucks just for these brackets. And the way I understood it in the post is that it comes with holes ready to, to, to put these brackets in, but there's not. Because I really didn't want to have to drill any more holes than I had to since it's a brand new seat. And, but anyway, yeah, I'll have to drill some holes for this, but we're gonna use these mounting, the, the side mounts. We're gonna get them there on the, the race car a little bit and we're gonna try them out with this, see what we can do. 
I liked them out a little bit better than my last one was. And someone even commented, they told me how uh, it's not good to, to mount the, the back or the shoulder the way it is. And it, it makes sense, it really does. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I, I'll probably end up leaving that the same way, but we'll see what we can do there. But anyway, for the seat, let me uh, take all the padding off real quick. All right guys, so for the seat, it is a two piece design. So it comes in the mail, it's two pieces. Some of you might not like that, but it probably just stays on shipping. And then it makes it, I don't know if most seats are two piece, but this one is, and it, uh, it's adjustable too. So you can bring it up and down. What they said, where you want it is, I just guessed and put it on there and I sat in it and it actually works for me. Uh, you want the top of this about at your cheekbone right here when you're sitting in it. So that worked out. But how it works is, let me lift it up here, see how much you can see. Um, it's got these pre-drilled holes right here. So you put four right here and then you run two and two on the sides and that holds it down. That's something I was kind of, oh, here's the part number guys. 70160. I probably already told you guys that 6,000 times, but that's on there. Um, so there's that. And something that a lot of people, I was reading reviews on and a lot of people also didn't like, and I'm kind of skeptical about it is these bolts. The bolts I'm talking about the whole together are like, they're not even, they're not even quarter inch bolts. They're, let me see if you guys can see that. That is a tiny bolt. That's what's holding together. Um, so I'm gonna run these on and we're gonna see how stable and strong it is. I mean, just the feel of it. I'll probably run these bolts, but if that's the only thing that I've heard people complain about is how small the bolts are. So that's something you might look into. Maybe all you have to do is probably drill out and put bigger bolts in it, but that's up to you, I guess. But it comes with these, that's what you use. But anyway, it seems like it's pretty well built. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a definitely on a budget seat. This, like I said, it's the cheapest one, full containment, like name, actual name brand that I can find, like $509 and then ship free from Speedway. So yeah, that's about it with the seat. And I um, guess all there is to it now is we're gonna throw the padding back, or well, we won't yet. We're gonna get that seat out. I already said that, but we're gonna get that seat out and we're gonna put that one in and see how we're gonna mount it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So what we got going here? Got the seat out, and so what we're gonna have to do here. This is the this is how the brackets are gonna sit this way. So what we're gonna do is with what we got is we're gonna take this off. We're gonna cut it off. That's just tacked on there, there, and there. And we're gonna get rid of this. So we just have these bars right here, and then we're just gonna mount these, bolt them down. Probably. Um, I think that's yeah, that's aluminum. So I'm not gonna weld it. We're gonna bolt those down and um, yeah, just it's pretty straightforward. It's gonna work out, I think. So we're gonna get that get that cut off and then uh, I'll show you how these sit on here. If you guys decided if you were gonna ever get these. Um, so it sits on there about like that. And pretty much you have your set screw right here and then you have all these adjustments in it. You can just move it up and down where you want it. So uh, that works out. So we're just gonna, pretty straightforward. We're just gonna cut that off and we're gonna mount these up and uh, we'll see where we put her. All right guys, so the seat, the way I wanted to mount it and everything and them mounting brackets, sure as heck ain't gonna work. I'm not gonna show you. It's just, it's it's not gonna work the way it's set up. And I cut a big piece that was rose this up right here. And I should have just left it. I could just mount it the, the regular way, just bolting holes through the middle of the seat, but I cut it off. Now it's too late. So now I'm trying to figure out, it's just, it's a mess. Anyway, trying to figure out how to put these here, but where I want it needs to be like up here and that ain't gonna work. So what I'm doing now is I made some pieces, some tubes to run in between. I'm gonna put this one here. And what I'm gonna do is cut a couple of these and I'll put that there and that there. And I'm gonna weld those together, weld them to here and then it'll have these underneath. So it'll be supported. And then I'm just gonna mount the brackets somehow onto these because then I can move it wherever I want. So that's the plan. And then the long run, it's just, it'll be easier to mount things and whatnot. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try not to weld it too much, just tack in a couple spots, it'll all be strong enough. So I'm gonna do, yeah. So we're gonna weld that on there and I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, this is what we got now. Um, that is about what I wanted. So that's in there. My plan is now, then I'm going to be able to run these wherever I want them. So 
We'll go ahead and set the seat back here and try to adjust it. Still I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. I can't decide how I'm gonna mount that because it, it just lays completely different than that one does. So we'll see, I'm gonna sit in it some more and we'll What's figure up, it out. What's up guys, it's been a couple days and we're back at the race car here. Uh, I left you off there, but uh, we're trying to figure out how to mount the seat. So what I ended up coming up with is this overnight of the night and then I stopped recording. But I made this bracket with a stick welder not ideal. It doesn't work very well. It's a stick welder, this small metal and whatnot. And I ran out of my good rods that I like using. I had to use the stronger ones. They just, it, it, it was a pain in the butt, but we got it welded. I'm kind of nervous about it. I'll show you my plan. All right, guys. So this ain't going to work because where this is right now, it's going to stick through that big gap right there. And that just ain't going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off. And I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm going to try to work this out to where i put those, they're about an inch and a half, I think. We're gonna weld that like that and drop it down. I'm kinda nervous about bringing it down, but I think we're gonna make some kind of braces. We're gonna run from that bar to there and whatnot. So uh, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. And uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm doing nothing today, but working on this car. I'm gonna try to get everything done. So we're gonna cut that off real quick. I'm gonna try to get in there and weld that. Hopefully it works out and uh we're gonna try to get this damn seat mounted so we'll get to her I'll, I'll stop talking i'll show you what we end up doing it's on there it was an absolute pain in the butt um but i think it's gonna work it's pretty solid where it's at you can grab a hold of it move and move the whole car but what i'm gonna do here in a second i'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and wrist fisher's gonna try to break it because i'm nervous about my weld so he's gonna try to break it and we'll see if it holds and if it holds we're good uh i mocked up the seat and put it in there and it's perfect where it's at, so I think it's going to work as long as it's it's good enough. So Casey's going to try to break it, and we'll see. Harder. Right. Check that out, boys and girls. Painted and painted. That's a... Call me a fabricator. I mean, look at that. I'm pretty solid. I'm pretty happy about it. It's solid. Still, so, I'm going to be nervous about that forever, but I think it's going to be fine. It's going to hold, I think. So got that on there. Got that on there. Everything's painted. So now all we gotta do is sit the seat on there, hold it down on both spots where I want it. So uh, we're done there. I'll show you when we get her installed. Guys, here it is. It is mounted. Um, pretty happy with it. The only thing I'm worried about is my welds right there. And I think I decided I'm gonna have someone redo that professionally because that just did not work out. I need a big welder and I need to be good at welding. That sucked. It's It, it works for now and I'm not, I don't know, I'm just kind of worried about it. My only complaint on this seat that I have is that it's definitely a cheaper seat because I mean it's just it's got a lot of movement uh, since it's uh, mainly because it's a two piece but to see all that it moves a lot um, I mean that's kind of normal for aluminum so I don't know but this is it just seems like it's a lot cheaper than most but uh, anyway that's about it I think we're, we're, I'm going to sit here and keep working on the car me and Riss Twister has been banging stuff out today he's been helping me I think I'm just going to keep this video about the seat so we're going to do the seat and put the phone down and actually get some work done the rest of the night so uh seats in that's why I, I, I really like the seat it's uh good for the money i'd say i mean i've never had a full containment seat but hey it's i like it so uh yeah that's about it we'll see you on the next one i guess guys like subscribe follow our instagram leave a comment and do the bell thing so uh we'll see you